<laughs> it's hard for both of us to be in it. Okay, you be in it. I need to say. Yeah. <laughs> Hi from uh, Philadelphia. I'm here with my friend Wendy Wells. Hey. And uh, we have a lot of poster sessions. We uh, have the opportunity to visit here, so we'll go to some of them. Let's go. <laughs> we just came from the Bloggers Cafe and had some really good chats, so that was neat. And now, so Wendy, the, the challenge here is that trying to find a good poster session where we can get to the speaker and put the microphone up to them. Sometimes that's, that's hard because the, the ones that are really interesting people seem to be gathered around and you can't get to the speaker. This, this one is called, This Is Not Your Mama's School Project. <laughs> that's, a cute name. that's a cute name. Did you get that? This is not your mama's school project. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is Wendy from the, from the Bloggers Cafe yesterday. Hi, welcome back. Glad y'all could join us. And now, and now people are complaining they're not getting much done because they're watching this instead of doing their work. Oh, you got some hearts, Wendy. Aw, awesome. that's really sweet. Yeah, so my favorite Periscope moment is when, when Wendy met uh, Angela Myers yesterday. Uh, check the, the broadcast before it expires, or uh, I'll get it up on YouTube here soon so you can, you can see. That was neat. We got to see her, Angela Myers' shoes, too. That was important. She had, she had some really cool shoes. The hashtag? Uh, shoes matter. Shoes matter. Hashtag. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, let's see. Oh, she's from the, the school district I taught in. All right. Well, I'll have let's, to... Let's see if she remembers. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe she wasn't there when I, when I taught there. Uh, At Morton Element. That's where I student taught. Oh, my gosh. Oh, wow. Yeah, and I worked there. I worked, I worked there for six years as a before and after school uh, child care leader there. So. <laughs> yeah, it was fun to meet you, too. Let's see. So they, they have some amazing apps. Some ones we know. Pick Collage, Pinterest, Skitch. Twitter. Yeah. And there's some websites on the, on the other side. Amazing tools for school projects. Okay. So All right. Let's see. Project, project -based yeah. So this is... Julie from Omaha. Do you mind being videoed? <laughs> yeah. Can you? Oh my God. Yeah. 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 There's 33 people watching right now, and they're giving like see, they're giving you some hearts because oh. they really want to hear about your poster session. They're they're mostly people who can't be at ISTE, so they're okay. so they're learning about it. Come to so. next year. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Tell us about what you have here, and you're you're at Morton. I am. That's where I student taught. And you were at Willowdale. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Small world. Okay. So basically what I've done is taken um, apps and websites and put them all together so that instead of doing a worksheet or assessing students' paper pencil, you can put technology in front of students and quickly assess what they know. Um, I have examples of each thing. So if you don't know what Skitch is, you would flip in my book to the Skitch section and you would see 10 examples of how to bring Skitch into your classroom. Where do we get your book? Uh, you have to come here. Sorry. Um, you can. There's my QR code. Okay. We'll, leave, will you keep talking and we'll leave uh, you, the address on there. Does, it, does this go to Morton's website? It goes to Morton website. And then if you scroll up the bottom, you can get the handout. And it lists apps and websites. They're all free or relatively inexpensive. Um, and I'm just encouraging my teachers who are just getting started with iPads to take on one thing and bring it into your classroom and have your kids become comfortable with it and then once that becomes easy in stations or morning work or however you want to use it then you would bring in another tool so people want to see the code i was doing the web address but they want to see the code okay my code is better looking <laughs> i don't know if they can see the, the live stream sometimes doesn't have the best image quality but um, yeah, I think starting simple and uh, your top app on your 
on your list here is one that I think teachers can start with really easily, and that's pick collage. Because there's so many things for them to do with it. It's easy to understand, and kids like using it. It's right. And the other great thing about it is if you have families that you want to share it with, and they, um, we have pulled the pick collage into like our newsletter. So it's on the front page of the newsletter when they get it, and we try to encourage um, teachers to use it, but we want families to use it too because it's super simple. That's awesome. Thanks for sharing. Thank you. <laughs> oh, don't be, no, you don't need to sweat. You, you did great. You did really. You look great. You sounded great. <laughs> yeah. So mpsomaha.org slash Morton is her school's website. And I don't know if they have their newsletter on there or not. So uh, that, that might be something to check out because they, they put pick a collage there. Let's see. Let's, this one has students. We've got we've to find this one. This one is uh, Virtual Safaris and Beyond, Augmenting Reality in the Classroom. Oh, and so cute. oh, what? I hate that I'm on my phone right now. You have a phone, Wendy. Can you scan that code? I want to know what this is. One of their posters says, we made these photos come to life. Scan them using their Erasma app. It looks like they've used Show Me. And look, they have, they have some of the kids cut out in little speech bubbles with a QR code. Okay, so you scanned, you scanned this. Is that a beaver? It's a, yeah. it's a puppet. It's a and puppet. then you can watch that puppet in a puppet show. Maybe. Yeah, I don't think the internet's going to cooperate. But <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, if it's the snow, what do you do? Frozen, but we Yeah, okay, we gotta talk to one of these kids. It's a little, a little hard to get, hard to get him. The augmented reality app back here is making it come to life. Yeah. You have to work. You have to work your magic. Too. I know. Yeah. I don't like to push my way through places though. <laughs> Which app? The uh, Erasma. The the purple letter A is the is the app they use to to make their augmented reality. So they make a picture and they can make it come to life using, using the picture as a trigger in Erasma. Let's see. There's a little, little video that's playing. Looks like they're having a great time in that video. <laughs> Hi from Ohio. Hi from Pennsylvania. Hmm? This class is from oh, they're from Philadelphia. Oh. Well, it makes sense that they're here. We, we might not get to talk to them right now. Well, maybe we can come back. Oh, get her. <laughs> can yeah, do you mind talking into the microphone? Well, first you you have to like take you have to like take a picture and then you got to tap it two times and then you can like put it like you have to tap it two times and then you can like put it swipe it away and then you can uh like read it or like figure out like what it mean like what it like really means and it does that like that. Picture. That's what it means. So did you get to make one of these? Yes. Which one did you make? I made a cheetah and I made Christy Amaguchi. What did you learn by making one? Well, we learned by making one um, with, with Erasmo. Because, like, if you go back and you see this, you press it and that's how you get to Erasmo. That's how you, like, get to Erasmo and stuff like that. 
That's how you get to Erasmus. The, if like if you want to like do these, then you gotta go to Erasmus and do that. Well, thank you for showing me that. You're welcome. Yeah, so with augmented reality, the picture acts as a QR code. So you don't need the code, but you need an app and you need to subscribe like to a channel so it knows what to, what to put there. But I couldn't hear her very well, but hopefully Periscope people could because I put the microphone really close to her. But it's, it's so loud in here. It's so loud. They were. All right, let's, let's make a loop this way. She got lots of hearts. That was good. She's, she was a little shy, but... Stem little sprouts. Oh, whoa. This is... We're not, we're not getting through there. <laughs> so so this, this, is, this is why they call the app Periscope. So you go like up and put your arm up there. <laughs> so... What I was thinking, Kinders with iPads, is the name of this one. Uh, if you go to do the, the ISTE 2015 website, look at the program and, and look up this poster session. Um, what I was thinking, Kinders, I bet, uh, hopefully they have a link or something there, because we'll have to check that out a little bit later. Crowded, yeah, next. <laughs> Um, one, one of the themes around here has been app smashing, combining apps. So um, yesterday was the, the, the uh, Smash Pub, and there, were all, there was a drink menu, and you made martinis with apps. They, that's how they got teachers to, to understand uh, workflow with apps. So this one is called They Did the Mash, the App Mash. <laughs> Wendy, do, do you know, are you, do you recognize all those icons? Did you name all those? Oh, yes, yes. Pick collage, show me, poplet, uh, the camera. Of they, they are labeled, but if they weren't labeled, you could still do it. Oh, yeah, they're all <laughs> I'm sorry. Hi, Ann, do you mind being recorded? Sure. Do you mind uh, taking a microphone and telling us about, uh, they did the mash, the app mash? Sure. <laughs> so, app mashing is when you take one app and you make something in it, you save it to your camera roll, and then you put it into another app to enhance it. Uh, typically, we're at the elementary level, we, the enhancement is adding voice to it. Um, but these are some of our favorite apps for app mashing um, and taking them into another app and making it better. And you're on Twitter, so let me yep, link absolutely. on there for a while so people can... Yep, that's me. What's your, what's your favorite smash ever? My favorite smash ever? Um, my, my most favorite app lately has been ThingLink um, because they can make anything in, in other apps and save them and then put them all in ThingLink. So we just did a fifth grade branches of government project. They made a chatter kid, they made a doodle buddy, they researched, um, and then we put everything into ThingLink. So I received one product with a link to all of their products instead of getting a chatter kid, a doodle buddy, the text, and all that. Yeah, so it's super cool. Yeah. Thank you. No problem. Thank you. And you have, do you have anything online? A yeah, s'more. You have a s'more. s'more. Okay. Yep, absolutely. I'll leave it there for a moment. Apps for app mashing. All your favorite apps for app mashing are right there. Nice. I missed the whole Thank you. <laughs> All right, Ann, thank you. No problem. Here, I'll share a scope. So there's like 40 people watching and... Uh, Let's see. Got some hearts for Ann. Nice. Hello. Hey, guys. S'more is great. You are totally right. I use it for everything. Right. Awesome. Oh, now they're getting more color players. Oh. <laughs> I didn't know Periscope had hearts. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Oh, there. I thought I, thought I lost Wendy. Wendy's been, been following me, so... Let's see, what else we have here? Oh, yeah, so this one's iPhoneography, using your iPhone to take and enhance photos. 
and it talks about Instagram. Let's say this is William King. Hey, William, do you mind being on camera? Sure, sure. Do you, would you like to take the microphone and, and tell that this is on Periscope? There's about 40 people watching right now. Yeah, so while you talk, I'll kind of pan across things and, and your name tag. Okay. Uh, my name is William King. Uh, I'm the head principal at Bowling Green High School. Got hired the day before I left for ISTE, so. Oh, congratulations. But it's, it's the same school I've been at for 14 years. Oh. Just, <laughs> just went from freshman principal to head principal. But basically what we do, we try to tell the story of our school. Uh, if we don't tell our story about our school or our classrooms, somebody else will tell it for us, be it the school across town or an angry parent or an angry student. So we try to, you know, filter to negative, share to positive. So we do a lot with school media relations. Uh, we have a school Facebook account, a school Twitter account, a school Instagram account, Periscope, Snapchat, whatever it is that's going to reach kids and parents in the community, we're going to join into that. And so um, our kids all sign off on acceptable use policy, which allows us to use their picture or their Twitter or their Instagram whenever we tweet out. So it looks like we're at every event, but we have four administrators. We all have access to it. So you might be at the boys' game. I might be at the girls' game. You might be at the swim meet. And we're all shooting images and sharing that out using platforms like TweetDeck or HootSuite. That way I don't have to open 40 apps 40 times from one button one time. I share all that to every platform. So that's very useful. Somebody asked, how about EduClipper? Uh, I have not I used EduClipper. But I love Adam Bello, so maybe I will get on that. Shout out to Edu Clipper, Adam Bello. Check it out. So then on the other side, I have a lot of different um, fun photo apps. Some of these I use in the classroom or at the principal level. Some I just use personally. But, uh, for example, Touch Retouch is an app where you can remove things from pictures. So if I've got a, a student that doesn't want their image in a pep rally picture... I open Touch Retouch, I paint over that student with my finger, hit play, it removes them and captures whatever's behind them. So, boom, they're gone, I can share it out. So that's great for removing you know, a light pole in your picture or a stop sign or a car, that you know, whatever. Google Snapseed is a uh, tool by Google. It's probably the most powerful photo editing app. If I was going to get any one, that one's awesome. Then there's Big Lens. You can use that to blur kids out of a picture. So if it's like a kindergarten class, and I, I don't want kindergartners on the web, but I want a picture of what the teacher's doing, if I took that picture, I can paint over the kids and blur them, but still use the image. You can't tell who they are. Then there's ViscoCam and Mextures. Those are great uh, tools for filters. Square Ready, a lot of pictures that you take won't load onto Instagram or other sites because they're not the right dimensions. So Square Ready, I open that picture, whatever the dimensions are, and it it makes it fit, and then I just click save and instantly tweet it out or put it on there. Color effects turns your pictures black and white, and then with your finger you can paint back in the color. So I can have a garden, and I can run it through color effects. It makes it black and white, then I can paint over a purple flower, and it, you just see that one purple flower. It's like the movie Schindler's List. We have the one girl with the red jacket. It's a black and white film, but it's a very powerful part. It's the only color in the, in the film, so... Pro Camera is another app. So we've got all kinds of fun apps uh, that if you'll tweet me or email me, I'll send you a list ten times longer than this. Um, but anyway, it's just it's fun telling the story of your school, but it's also fun you know, on your personal accounts to play with images and take pictures of, like, Philly. I've been taking a lot throughout. We do photo walks, and it's just it's lots of fun. So. Yeah. Just a minute. I just want to do a little shout out to William. When you were talking about being a principal that um, has all the social media open, that that's fabulous because that that's an inspiration for the school and for other administrators to realize the power of this. And so definitely connect with William and find out what he's doing innovative in their um, high school. So I think it's going to be a great great year for you. He's doing a quick photo op. <laughs> <laughs> and and so adding to your apps, so actually tomorrow I'm doing a session at 8:30 um, called finding and designing visuals for your project. So I talk about a lot of those things. I found one app lately that does a lot of that all in one, and it's called Pixlr, and it's free. There's no e at the end, Pixlr, and it, yeah, they have it for every platform, and I love it because you can do you can do the color effects, you can do the blur, you can do the mixture kind of things where you add overlays all in one app. So it's yeah. it's pretty neat, it's Pixlr. Nice. Yeah, yeah. I know that you would use a mixture. Yeah, yeah, for sure. 
So, um, and then I see, I recognize some of these. I like over for putting text on apps. Yes. And path on, you draw a line and then yeah. the, the text follows. Yeah, oh, this you is. Make it, you can do circles. It doesn't have yeah. to be a line either, you know. Uh, but path on's fun. I use path on, fonto, and over to share. Like we had a student get a perfect score on their ACT and their SAT. So I download their picture from our school, you know, uh, records program, and then I paste it over there, you know, what does a perfect score on the ACT and SAT look like, and it was a picture of her. And so that's a great tool uh, for that. Uh, Fonto, Over, and Pathon. One more shout-out. Microsoft has an app, a free app called Photosynth. It's also on desktop. It lets you take a 360-degree image, not like the iPhone camera where it's just one angle. You can do the ceiling, the floor. That's great for field trips or if it, you know, the school year is getting ready to start in August for us in Kentucky, I can say this is going to be your son's first grade classroom. And the parents on their phone or their device can, can with their finger take a 360-degree tour of that classroom or if we're on a field trip. Uh, so anyway, that's a, that's a powerful free tool, and Microsoft has done it. It's top notch. So. William King, you are awesome. And somebody, oh, and then yeah. here, let's give you some hearts. Uh, turn my camera around so you can see the, the hearts coming through. They, they, they all say it's great ideas. I agree. Just camera to look at. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, Good. if you want my resources, if you will email me at wkingbg, it's on my shirt, at gmail.com. wkingbg at gmail. I'll send you my presentation and a ton of resources. And I'd love to see your pictures. So. Awesome. Yeah. Me too. All right. Thank you for sharing. Thank you. 30 Tony Vincent look up look up my name you'll find it it's called worth a thousand words there you go all right <laughs> I, I get everybody else's name tags now finally somebody gets mine <laughs> you're welcome that was neat wasn't it yeah yeah really great principal he understands the power of communication particularly visual and social communication so I, I love that um, somebody asked, is TouchCast close by? Um, I, well, we'll see. Um, so much of, I was telling Wendy this earlier, it's like there's serendipity in what you come across. Like I don't, like we, we just walk by and go to something and, and uh, sometimes it turns out. Oh, I love you too. Thank you. <laughs> they, people are, people online. Are. Can I have a little love as well? Yes, please. Thank you. I love the hearts. <laughs> you do. You do love the hearts. Um, Okay, so let me know and we'll, we'll see. And somebody, somebody asked if I'm periscoping my session tomorrow. I probably am not because I'm a... Well, you, if you want to periscope, you probably... You, I'm, I, I won't stop you. You can record it. But I, don't, I probably won't do it myself just because I'm worried about the presentation. And I have, I, and I have two videos that I've dream screened in front of and are done really nicely that kind of cover the topic. I don't, I don't, I'll sleep on it. I'll sleep on it. I'll see if I, see if I, what, what I decide. They're saying please, yeah. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> Is Wendy on Periscope? Uh, um, right now, I am. <laughs> yes, I, I am. I am a. Uh, uh, yeah, my username is the same as Twitter. It's um, Wendy Wells Ed Tech T E K. Wendy Wells Ed Tech T E K. Yeah, please follow me because I just opened up my Periscope um, account yesterday. So yeah, I love that. She, she's been watching me do it, and, and I think she's, she wishes she had a microphone right now. That's why she keeps taking mine. But, tell the, but you also can order a microphone from Tony me, <laughs> Tony B dot me. Yeah, so this microphone has been people like the high rate. You can get the microphone on Amazon, but I made a short link, Tony V dot me slash microphone. Thank you. <laughs> Wendy Wells, is that how you say it? Wendy Wells Ed Tech? Is that I, I Wendy to. Wells Ed Tech. That looks right. Wendy Wells Ed Tech. Yes, that's yes. it. Yes, it is it. It is it. Okay, let's let's see here. Elementary school. T is it? There must be an elementary theme here. <laughs> I, I should really check this before I get into poster sessions what the theme is. This morning it was like global collaboration and, and ecology, and now it looks like... Uh, it's a, so, so elementary teachers love QR codes. So we see a lot of QR codes around here. This is a third grade heritage project. Yeah, blended learning is a is a 
is a big buzzword, it seems, too. A lot of sessions are about blended learning at SD. Making is a big deal. Makerspace. Sp maker Makerspace. Which it seems to me they're making like a lot of different things to for learning, which we've done a lot. A lot. Hey, here's, here's one about Genius Hour. There's a lot of people here, so. I don't know if I can just walk right up behind the behind the counter like I did the other one. Uh, you might you might get tossed out. I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, I can't even get into ask her if she wants to on the microphone. So this will be another. We'll have to make a second loop and get to the ones we didn't get to. If my battery lasts, that's the. I don't know how long my battery is going. Um, and with this microphone, it connects to my lightning port, so I can't connect my USB battery because the microphone is taking it. Can you can't tell how much no, and then Periscope doesn't tell me how much battery I have either. And I'm afraid if I leave the app, the the uh, session will end. <laughs> Yeah, I am. It is true. They should be happy to, if I'm periscoping them, adding 30 more people that can probably hear the presentation better than we can in person because, as I keep saying, it's really loud in here. <laughs> I know about coding, that's another big theme is, is coding here at ISTE 2015. Let's see. There's, a, there's some resources. Well, if you guys want to screenshot this, garypinkston.com slash ISTE.html. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm in love with this mic. I just got it before I came to ISTE. I don't think I would be periscoping without it because it, it, like, it's just it's really loud in here. <laughs> All right. Hi, hi, keep, keep hopping. We're on a quest. <laughs> Digital storytelling tips and tricks. This looks like the same stuff from the Remind party last night. I wonder if they, I mean, <laughs> they have the little nice... Yeah, unless they got the stuff from the same store. <laughs> the same, it's the same font, same designer. <laughs> you, you guys, you are very welcome. I, I love doing this. So it, it, let's, let's check this out. So really Two Truths and a Lie, Digital Storytelling. It is really cute. Tips and tricks on sharing your story and building your voice in the digital space. Lurking is a good way to start. You guys can lurk on Periscope, and then you can be your, your own Periscoper. Absolutely. Now look at the bottom. Creating a class has, hashtag can promote transparency for community stakeholders. These yeah, your own class hashtag. Yeah. You know, I, I, I the sessions here at ISTE have to have their own net hashtags. You can't use the ISTE 2015 hashtag in a session. The, 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 they'll get lost in, in all the other hashtags or in, in all the tweets. Learning increases when we develop PLN. So PLN is a big, big buzzword as well for teachers to make sure you're connecting. And you can connect all, all different ways, like Periscope. Um, and it's <laughs> yeah, the, the poster people are still, everybody's so busy, which is good. It's good to, when your people are talking. <laughs> oh, somebody, you're, I'm glad that I could inspire you to uh, Periscope the... GAF Summit. I think that's how you pronounce Google Ask for Education. I think I yeah. heard they pronounce it GAF yeah, Summit. Yes. That's great. Wow. Oh, do you mind being? Do you mind being on the internet? Do you mind being on the internet? Being recorded? Not at all. Do you? Would you mind taking the microphone and then? You are in so much trouble now. He gave me the mic. <laughs> Okay. So, so name, I'm Liz Bomarito, and I'm here for the USC Shoah Foundation. We have a website called Eyewitness, where we have Holocaust and genocide studies. We have over 1,300 
testimonies, visual testimonies of survivors of the 20th century genocides. We have over 25 activities for classrooms. This is all free online because Shoah Foundation is totally nonprofit. We make our money through fundraisers and donations. This is a wonderful tool for history teachers and English teachers and digital literacy teachers. And students learn how to use the internet. They find out about the Holocaust, and they find out about Armenia, and they find out about Rwanda. They video edit. They go on information quests and create clouds, word clouds. They do mini quests where they create projects that they can share and learn from each other. There's just so much information here. I don't know how to tell you how to do it. I need you to go to eyewitness.usc.edu, sign on, register. It's free. Okay. Poke around. Watch some video testimony. All the videos have been indexed so that you can search for a clip that's based on a topic or a theme. I've used it that way. Even when I'm not doing genocide studies, when I'm teaching a book, I'll show a clip about justice or civics or religion or faith. And I, I use the clip. It's a two or three minute clip. And I use the clips to spark debate, to introduce a topic, or just to start a discussion with my class. It's totally free. I, I, the letter I witness, iwitness.usc.edu. Totally free of charge for educators and anyone that wants to go online and take a look at it. And they, Who's yeah, they? So, uh, there's they, 30, 30, they? 38 people who want to be at ISSI but, but oh. aren't. So they're, they're here through Periscope. Hi. So I mean, they'll give you some hearts too because they. Oh, that's they oh, look, look how wonderful oh, that yeah, is. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah. We are willing to train the teachers that want to use this for free, whether through a Skyping session or, um, sorry, or through a webinar or to come out to see. Where are you guys? I'm, Iowa. I'm in Iowa. Tomorrow yeah. is a webinar at at one o'clock Eastern Standard Time. And they find out at eyewitness. At eyewitness.com. We'll be using testimony and primary resources tomorrow. How to use testimony and primary resources. It's a webinar online. How do they get on there? Through um, our website has it? They can register. Okay. Terrific. Thank you so Thank much. you for sharing. Oh, and thank you for the pen. Thanks. <laughs> Enjoy the rest of Visti. Uh, I'm <laughs> no, it's on uh, you on my Twitter, and I'm Tony Vincent on Twitter, and you can see a link to that. Yeah, you, you got a pen? You got, you got like a whole pile of pens. <laughs> yeah, so just Tony Vincent, find me on Twitter. There's it would be the link that just that's about this time of day, and it says it's on Periscope is what is what this is called. Yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> People are finding you on Twitter right now. Yeah, they saw it on your name tag. <laughs> Take care. You do? I do. I Well, I've used Periscope. We had an ed tech day, and um, it was just a great way to bring people in who couldn't be in. So the not for ISTE hashtag, they're probably so excited. That's great. They're sending, they're, now they're sending you hearts, and they've sent me lots of those. So um, free pens. Yeah, here. If I, if I could push this through here, you can take a... Take a pen for people who are not at ISTE. Well, I'll take a few and put them in my purse. How's that? Yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah. My little battery, 20% warning. So when 10% warning happens, that's when we can wind down. We've got to go to lunch. We haven't had lunch yet. Yeah, it's already 2 o'clock. Yeah, she was very enthusiastic. And so while, while you were talking to her, I was... Uh, 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 Periscope, and that's what she was oh, saying. That, that, that's yeah, how that's how it. she found it. I said, "Oh, you don't know Tony Vincent? She did not know Tony." That's, you don't. You don't have to know. Me. You shouldn't know me. <laughs> but she knew me. No, I'm kidding. Oh, no. <laughs> so funny. Anyway, yeah, this is exciting. We've got, found some really cool stuff, and hopefully, you guys have a little taste of what's going on. In yeah. So somebody asked, "How much does Periscope drain your battery?" Well, this morning I started with pretty close to 100%, and after a half hour of walking through uh, the poster sessions, I was down to 50%. So, you know, you get about a good hour. So then I recharged as much as I could, and I got up to like, I don't know, 80 or, no, I was at 60 when I started this session. So, um, yeah, it's, it's a big battery drain. Like it's, I could, I, I could, I'm going to look into a case that has a lightning that I can, so I can have this microphone plugged in and a, and a battery case. Yeah. And the other thing I want to get to while we're talking about it is that uh, I want a wide angle lens so that like when I, when I turn the camera around here, uh, you really stretch my arm out. 
<laughs> in order to see me or to get to, to, you know, or have to do a lot of panning, which is shaky. So if I had a little wide angle lens, I could slip over the top of my phone. I, and I have a cheap one, but I, if I'm going to be doing this more, I probably could get one that's, that's not so cheap looking. Oh. Um, and take the um, phone and the microphone, because there's a lot of other media people here that have tripods and the camera. And so, I mean, this is creating the same atmosphere, but yeah, in a yeah. simple way. Yeah, I'm on an yeah. iPhone 6. iPhone 6, yeah. and then and the microphone. The microphone is the iRig HD. Yeah. Well, I'm happy to bring you to ISTE. And uh, let's see. Uh, Oh, got to run. I got to run, too. So, it's time for lunch. yeah, it is time, time for, for lunch. lunch and to charge the, yeah, poke me in I the eye. I haven't hit anybody with the microphone yet. <laughs> you almost did. You almost <laughs> did. But we got, you, we need to charge your phone and then also find lunch. Yeah, yeah. So, so thanks for watching and we'll see you later.